Hey guys, this is Chance Williams. Welcome to Chance Shop Talk. So today, um, I'm gonna go ahead and snatch my injectors out of my engine. I'm actually looking um, for my engine, hopefully sometimes next week, but I gotta get these injectors out because they're charging $200 per core charge, or a piece per core charge. So I'm gonna show y'all if we can get a good shot of this. We're just gonna go ahead and snatch this valve cover off of here and try to get this thing off of here. Get a little bit, zoom in here so y'all can see a little bit better. We're gonna go ahead and get all our stuff off here, move it out to the side. I guess the coolest thing is, is when you're doing these, is when the cab's off, it's a lot easier. It can be done with the cab on, no doubt. Try to keep up with all our parts and stuff that we, as we go. I always try to keep nuts and bolts together. I hate mixing all that stuff up. Sometimes it's hard to find. Especially when you got one that's been, I guess say down for a good length of time. Because if it's down for a good length of time, good Lord, somebody help you. Because it's that much harder. This is my broken socket. I haven't gotten fixed yet, which I need to get fixed. So we get this valve cover off of here. Uh oh. got coolant pipes and everything that runs through this uh, injector. Everything in here is super tight. Get our harness up through here and our, our coolant pipe. We're gonna get it out of the way too. We don't want to break nothing. Trust me, we don't want to break nothing. Get our glow plug harness out of here. I use uh, this little tool right here. Pull these things out of out of here. Use, work Usually works pretty good. I actually took this tool and bought it from Snap-on, but I actually took an and bend it to my liking, which everybody can do whatever modifications you want to whatever tool you got, but I seem to think that works pretty good for me. So let's lay our harness over. We got a big connector right here. We'll unhook it, and that goes down to the crankshaft, down by the crankshaft. Don't go to the crankshaft. Boy, all this stuff full of oil. I got a lot of cleaning to do, I tell you. That's the worst part, and all of you agree with me, of doing anything on automotive is to clean up. That seems to take the longest time to do. Get that out of the way. Y'all like that when that happens? They just stick? Well, that one come off pretty good. Uh oh. This is a 12. Oddball. Oddball out, guys. One more here. And we got a couple of stuff there. There. Now that's the inside. I don't really want to flip this upside down. Oh Lord. This crankcase, I don't know if I showed the picture of it, but it, this crankcase was actually <laughs> four gallons of water and antifreeze mixture in it. Mixture in it. it was uh, it was quite, quite nice. <laughs> uh, when they die, they die pretty hard. Don't know, but we're gonna try. I might not be able to get it out with my intakes. The main theory of it today is to get the injectors out. Be real careful. Push the pin down and, and you can get these injectors unplugged. And we'll probably, maybe, tap that out of there. Yeah. We got two tabs. You have two tabs basically on each, each side of this connector right here that I, that I got my hand on. And sometimes you can push it in, just tap it down and it'll come right on out. I don't really have to get it out of there right now, but I will. I don't want to break it. But the main goal of it right now is to get my injectors out. Get the right size wrench here. I think it's a 17. It is a 17. Let's get our fuel tubes off of here. We'll look at these and inspect them real good. I think they tell you you really need to replace them. If the ends are okay and not bubbled real bad, the ends of these things, they bubble really super bad and that's one of the reasons why they, not the bubble part, but it'll recess on one side and not give you a good seal. Then you fill your crankcase up with fuel. So it's probably a good idea to go ahead and get these, get these coming. Cause I didn't think about that. And yes, I could probably reuse them, but at the same time, I really don't want no issues with this engine. And I will be consulting this, not the owner's manual, but the service manual, make sure that it's okay not to replace those. 
But anyway, wipe my hands off here. Probably gonna use a, I think I got the right one to start with, but let's check and make sure. Uh-uh, got this one right here's the right one, guys. That was one size too small. With the boat and the holder, see if that'll help us get it out of there. Yeah, there it comes. That little wrench right there, it'll, it'll get you. It'll scare you with when you're using stuff like it on there. But there's nothing really special to these. Now I know the six sevens you're supposed to have some sort of specialty to to get these out with, but there is one injector right there. Still doesn't look hurt or anything. That's one injector out of a out of the diesel here. So I'd rather feel than I would keep hammering on something. There's another one. I think this is a new one. This was a new one that got replaced on this injector right here. I meant on this engine right here. I'm not talking straight. Forgive me. I'm gonna snatch the glow plugs out and I wanna know which and see what cylinder that it was that is full of liquid. Cause I know it's one of them. I just don't know which one guys. It's like two injectors have been replaced on this side. What it looks like. All right, so that's how you pull the injectors out on these, this six four. But I really wanna know personally, which cylinder is full of antifreeze, which has probably not got anything in it anymore. Oh, that cup looks beat up down there. All right, let's get the uh, glow pluggy out of there. Let's get new glow plugs too, by the way, boys and girls. Glow plugs located on the valve cover on a 6.4, or excuse me, screw into the head on these here beast right here i want to know i really want to know that cylinder right there i think unless that piston i think that piston is just all the way up a little oil down in there that was full of fuel get our fuel rail off of there too gotta have it put my tools up try to keep up with them a little bit better than uh, the average joe boys and girls fuel too so this is your fuel rail for your injectors and that switch on there is your fuel fuel rail pressure sensor yeah, I know they're located this side. Goofy, I know, but it is what they decided it needed to be. Well, all right, boys and girls, that's how you take the injectors out of a 6.4. I've got to get the other um, side out of it and uh, have those injectors out to go back because, like I told you, they're, they're seriously charging a $200 core charge on here. And... Uh, there, I'll show you the new injectors that are going in it. Uh, didn't know I had that. I'm going with these stock injectors. These are uh, from Pure Power. Um, got a pretty good price on them. Pure Power has been around for a while and they've done very well in the, in the diesel industry. So we're going to be unboxing all these and leaving them in the cellophane and all and leaving them wrapped up. I'm just going to throw the old ones in the box and give them back to them. But you know what an injector looks like, but these are wrapped up. Until then, thank you. I appreciate it. Any questions, please subscribe. And I will be doing more shots on this engine as soon as I uh, get, the, get my actual engine here. And I'll show you guys what I am installing. All right, then. Peace out. Still on there? Nah. So anyway. Uh